living. Well, everybody, it has arrived. Now for the review. Comes with a little carry bag thing. When you take it out, uh, it comes with instructions. The um, the material looks like a like a light tarp, maybe. But uh. All right, we're back. I was going to give it a really bad review, this thing, because when I bought it, um, the inside, this liner was undone from, t it t basically tucks inside these latches, mm -hmm. like these unfold, and then you got to shove that up there and then cl clamp down on it to keep it in place. Sometimes it comes undone, but I think that's why there's been really bad reviews on this product. This, that liner, if that liner, if it rips or if there's a hole in it or something, like this liner specifically, it's just like a trash bag. So like, if that has a little hole in it, the air is just gonna pop out. But it's really easy. Um, this is the Bubble Comfort Lounge, it's what's called, it's on Amazon. It was like, what was it, Daniel, like $49.99? Yep. Yeah. $49.99. Um, when I first opened it, I took it outside. I took that liner out because I thought it was for like packaging. So I took it out. I threw it out and I'm trying to fill it up. I'm like running around my, my backyard like, a, like an idiot trying to figure it out. And then I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and found out that the liner has to stay in there in order for it to work. And you do not have to have wind or anything like that because I do we've done it in here numerous times <laughs> so basically what you do is you just go from side to side alternating opening up holes so like there's a hole here and then there's a hole here well, I didn't know and that there's a hole in the middle but the middle is just the area in which you're supposed to lay mm -hmm. so when you swipe the one way you swipe you close it and then you open up the other side and swipe the other way and close until you get enough air in it. And I will demonstrate and look like a goofball. So here we go. Oh, oh good. Break our door. It doesn't require too much. You have way too much fun doing this. What's that? You have way too much fun doing this. Alright. And then so you spin it in like so. So it's nice and tight, like so. And then you bring it in like so and it clamps right there. If you see it has like a security latch like right there, you gotta push in and then release that way. But that's it, and then you just Sit in it, demonstrate. Sit in it, a lot of people are like scared to sit in, like they'll like sit down and like it tips over. Just go right in the middle of it and sit down. That's all you need to do. It's really comfy. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Um, now that you're out of breath, whoa, maybe you need to come take Zen Fitness. <laughs> no, I'm cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we, what, we've, You've sat on it too. Um, I'm, what am I? I'm almost six two, and I weigh about two ten, maybe two o five, and I fit on it perfectly. Whatever it is, I'm sure after an hour or so, you're going to need to refill it, because again, it's a plastic bat liner inside here that's keeping it like afloat. Um, so when you get up, you'll see that it looks like it's deflated a little bit, but I mean, it's just probably my weight on top of it. Wrap it up, I guess, and put it in there. Okay. But, so, like I said, you just grab the 
hooks and let it go. Um, like so. <laughs> so then this is how small it, get, it can get. I mean, it probably could get smaller. Oh, I haven't really mastered it. And then, goes in the Gucci bag. Like so. What is with you and Gucci? I don't know. <laughs> I don't ask just a designer that you knew? You just yeah. said it off the top of your head. I was gonna say pro. Which I'm not sure how you know any of those designers. I was gonna say Prada or Louis. Oh yeah. And now I'm ready for the beach. <sighs> we are here in the beautiful beach of North Lylewood doing a review for this bubble lounger inflatable thing. You go back yeah. and forth. Filling up the bubble chair. Not very nice. Bring it over, I can't see it with my chair. We're gonna make it all wet. Looks pretty comfy. It's a nice tanning spot. Sitting in it for the past 30 minutes, 45 minutes ish. Still up and inflated. So I took a break from it. Shane's lying on his chain. Tell the viewers what you think. It's comfortable, it's nice, and it's also very, it's also very like, relaxing. Very relaxing. Well, out of five stars, what would you give it? Five being the worst. No, okay. Right. A four. A four? Alright. He gives it a four. All right, people, it's the moment you all been waiting for. My overall review of the bubble lounger thing. I don't really know what you would call it. But I'm gonna have to give it like a 3.8. I wanted to give it a three and a half for a long time. I wanted to give it a four for a long time. So I'm going in between 3.75, 3.8, whatever. 3.8, um, the reason being is it's an awesome concept. The thing that scares me the most is the interior liner of the product. The interior liner is just a thicker trash bag material plastic. That's all it is. I'm afraid that, you know, something's going to pierce the outer liner, which is strong and sturdy. It's like a, like a, a light tarp material is the outside. But if something like accidentally pierces through that and even touches that interior liner, it's going to deflated immediately and I don't see on Amazon or anything like that um, like the, the interior liner for sale or anything I mean maybe the company sells them I don't really know uh, I'll have to look into that but um, you know for me laying in in it for 30 minutes again I'm 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 fat ass 6'1 uh, 210 205 210 ish you know um, you know, it held pretty well uh, for 30 minutes. Um, definitely an hour and a half to two hours, you're probably going to have to refill it. Um, if a little kid's in, it's probably different, you know, or if, uh, you know, someone's skinny's in it, it, it may not even need to be refilled. Um, even when you first lay in it and you get, uh, you get up after five minutes of being in it, you'll get up and it'll look like it sinks down. It's just because of your weight, you know, it's... But... It's an awesome concept. I really think the bad, like the really negative reviews, like the one stars and stuff like that of this product, again, is because that inner liner isn't properly, properly secured into those hitches at the top. Um, a lot of, because a, a lot of Amazon reviews I was like reading saying it wasn't inflating at all. And that's, I mean, you've seen, I did it inside easily, you know, and outside, at the beach there was only a slight breeze coming in from the east and it wasn't even a lot like it was 
maybe like two mile per hour winds and it blew it up like i didn't even have to fan it or anything i just opened up each one and then closed it so it's an awesome concept i'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more and i'm gonna probably do a review in a year or so you know maybe it goes up maybe the review is four and a half you know by that point i don't know but i don't want to lie to you guys and say yeah buy it it's awesome blah 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 and then you're you know you're out 49.99 just wait till my next review in a year and then you can get the truth out of it. But um, thank you for sticking around. I know this video is going a little long. It's just I haven't put a vlog up in a little while. Uh, but we are heading back to the shore very shortly and that will be a vlog in itself. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. You can go ahead and subscribe or don't. It's up to you. As always, just live and we'll see you next time. Oh, New Jersey has a summer one spent sober, drunk and black, drunk and black, how's he old?